exciting source updates are taking place in Cosmic Desktop, the Rust edition. The System76 team has been hard at work, as always, and today I wanted to spend some time checking out project sources that have been updated. It's been a little while since we've checked into some of these things. First, I'm going to check out Cosmic Files. Yes, it's received an update, but before we can get there, let's launch it using the launcher. If you do super space, you'll get the launcher. It's one of my favorite things in Cosmic, simply because it's really easy to find things, such as files, and you get shortcuts as well, control one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, depending on how many different options you get back as results from your find. What's also great about this is how fast it works. And even better, it can do some advanced math. They've definitely taken this to the next level with Rust. I feel that it is faster. So if I do some math, I can just hit an equal sign and you notice it already suggests the calculator, but why not just do math in here? For example, one plus one is two. Let's get more complicated. What's the square root of four? Two, fantastic. Or we can do more advanced math, such as order of operations. Let's say I needed to multiply something before adding a number on. We can use parentheses in here and do some complex math. Let's say I wanna divide all this by three at the end. I can do that as well. And you can chain these expressions together very easily. And of course, use some of those advanced math functions. Definitely give Cosmic Launcher a try if you haven't already. Even if you're just using the plain old Cosmic Desktop, it's fantastic. It saves me a bunch of time on my math. Don't have to punch it into the calculator in a weird way. Instead, I can use general mathematical syntax to actually get results. So fantastic things are happening with the launcher. It's working great. It's quite quick. The results are quicker than I can type. And now we're going to move on to the file manager called Cosmic Files. With Cosmic Files, we can tell that there's some transparency in the background. The header or title here is transparent. And I'm wondering if we're going to get the option to set the transparency for both the background and the header in the future. We'll see. The reason I bring this up is because there are reasons to believe that we will based on another update to a tool that's used on the desktop. We'll check that out in a bit, but continuing on here on the left hand side, we have our browser shortcut links and you simply click on one of them to switch to different locations of the system back to the home folder. Since I have the most things inside of it, currently this is still a work in progress, so I can't do things like highlight multiple files, but I can go in between back and forth files and even launch things from the new file manager. Another thing that is nice, if you wanna go back up one directory, you have the icon right here that goes up a directory and it'll keep going up until you hit the root directory. Another thing that's great is that file supports tabs. I can create new tabs. That way I have one file manager opened with multiple different locations on the system if I want. And I assume in the future, you'll be able to drag items between the tabs. I've always liked using tabs and file managers Another neat option is to just completely get rid of the browser menu here on the left. And then I can still go between things by simply clicking around and using the one back button. On the top where the transparency is, we are currently told what our current working directory is. Good to keep track of things. And then on the right hand side, we have an option to switch between what types of icons, either a detailed view or an icon view. Good for those of us who like to see things in a little bigger format. And then right of that is our settings. Currently, we only have theming settings. I'm sure there are more to come. And then finally, on the right hand side, we just have the options to minimize, maximize and close out of the window. This is what things look like maximized with a detailed view. And on the left hand side, our menu opened up. But let's get to some other things because there's more updates that have been made. Cosmic Terminal has officially been dropped and I think it's great. If we launch a terminal, Super T, that creates a new terminal. There's currently two tabs. I don't think this is the way it's meant to be, but all good there. You can create new tabs as you want. I'm gonna interact with the system a little bit so you can see what things look like. If I do LS, we notice simple blue shading for the folders or directories and anything in white is going to be a basic file. So if I wanted to look at my basic file here, like main RS, looks like I deleted the contents of it so not much in there, but as I'm working with the terminal, you can tell what things currently look like. Very good. I think they're doing a great job with this. There's a blue outline on the focused current window. So since the terminal is focused, there is this blue outline. There's also a blue line that separates our current working terminal from the various different tabbed terminals. You'll also notice a more predominant 
blue color over here, that just tells us which is the current working tab. Subtle things, but I definitely like how they make things pronounced with the colors. So there's no guesswork in where you're working or what you're working on. If we change directories, for example, I go to the desktop, you'll notice over here, this gets updated, tells us we're on the desktop, as well as what it looks like down below. Green tells us our current user and host name. We can also change the size of the terminal. I'm gonna actually maximize it so we can get the full view. I'll close out of a few tabs up top, and then I'm gonna clear things out and log in as the root user so we can see what things look like here. Password still remains hidden. You can't see anything as you're entering your password in. It's not gonna show up, not a big deal. Just press enter once you think you've got it in. Looks like I messed the password up, so I'm gonna try again. There we go. After I'm logged in and I changed users, now I'm the root or super privileged user, it changes back to color white instead of the green that we had before for a normal user. Behind that as well, green changes to white for the host name, and we are given the absolute path instead of the home directory for the current user, and then wherever we're currently located with respect to that in blue. Subtle but great changes. You'll also notice up top, we are no longer transparent. That's another thing that we keep seeing across these apps. Notice at the bottom, as I'm using and dragging around the terminal, I get an icon that shows up that just tells me what I'm controlling, which is currently the terminal icon. I think you'll start noticing that there's a theme here, a transparent header also being displayed here on the terminal, as well as we saw it in files. So that looks like a system-wide kind of theme from what I understand, we will be able to control this. So if you do not like transparent backgrounds or transparent headers, you won't have to use them. Some options here in the new terminal. Of course, it's still under development, so things are subject to change, but new tabs, new windows, closing the tab, or quitting out. Editing currently lets you copy, paste, select all and find, and view allows you to get to the settings. In the settings, I do like how they make it easy to change the default font size. I did that right away. Also whether or not you want to show the header bar, giving you a more minimal look. There's also advanced font settings, including things like font stretch, weight, and boldness. You can change out your default font fairly easily, as well as set the current syntax theme or overall terminal theme. Let's set it to light just so you can see what this kind of looks like. Definitely changes things. We keep a transparent background, keep similar colors, but the background becomes more of a grayish white color. Anyways, personally like the dark theme. So I'm going to go back to that, close out, and now we've checked out a majority of the terminal. It works great. The performance here is what I would expect it to be. No glitching, no artifacts, just a great way to interact with your system. I want to take a moment and show off Jeremy's screenshot here of using terminal next to Cosmic Editor. It does look very cohesive. It's kind of hard to tell even that you're using an editor versus the terminal. I'll let you guess which sides which, but either way, I think it looks great. Sometimes it's hard for desktop environments to match apps across the board and make them cohesive. I think Jeremy displays a very great and cohesive theme across the board here with Cosmic Edit and Cosmic Text Editor. And that's something awesome about the System76 team is that they are highly focused on the small details as well as making an overall wonderful desktop environment and experience using the environment. With that said, make sure to smash that like button for me and think about subscribing below. I'm trying to get to 50,000 subscribers with high focus on the desktop environment and the user experience. One thing that I'm actually really excited for is this new tool that Michael's working on. It is a command line tool for displaying and configuring the Wayland display outputs, Cosmic Render. For those of us familiar with XRender, it is a fantastic tool that can help you edit your display settings directly in the terminal without having to interact with a settings panel. So for example, this is a great thing when you just build a minimal setup that doesn't really have a desktop environment display. I do like the fact that Cosmic Render exists. This will be used by the display settings page in Cosmic, which makes complete sense. It's almost like an in-between from the panel that you're changing your settings on to the actual background settings of the system. On the left is Cosmic Term window displaying a colorized list output. On the right, another Cosmic Term window displaying the list in a KDL syntax format. The KDL format provides a stable interface for scripts and programs to get a list of displays with their supported output modes. Here we go. Here's what things look like in Cosmic Render versus the configuration file. So let's go check it out on the actual system as it is a great tool. So I'm going to launch it here in the terminal Cosmic Render. And it's telling me 
here are the commands, so that helps a lot. Let's just do cosmic render and see if we can list. Okay, so here are all the different modes that are available for the current screen or display. I have many modes and currently 1920 by 1080 with 60 hertz is the correct one. So I could use cosmic render to change things around. I don't have to use the settings. Again, in a minimal setup, this might be the way to go. So I'm gonna just change it to something like, well, let's just do 1440 by 900. How I can do this is I can say cosmic render and then I'll specify mode that I wanna change the mode. I'll do the virtual one display with 1440 as the width and 900 as the height. And notice that instantly changes things here in the background. That's why it's so fantastic because if I didn't have access to settings, I can easily change it through the terminal or if I just think it's easier to do this. Another reason it's exciting to have access to these commands is you can actually change it in your bash terminal to launch one of these deals if you're having trouble with the settings or even add more modes in. I really like using xrander over the settings page, especially in systems where I don't even have access to it. So I'm gonna go back to 1920 by 1080 and just change it to full screen because that's my native resolution here. Again, I'm super excited for all the fine detail that the team is working on and I really enjoy testing things from source. So as I do, I'm gonna be coming back to you with updates. Follow along by subscribing below. Today we've checked out Cosmic Files, the Terminal, Rander, and the Launcher, which have all been updated on the Cosmic Desktop. They're well on their way to getting us that beta, hopefully in time for 24.04. We'll see how things come along here in the next few months. Catch me in a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.